Save energy. It's best to turn off the light yeah. and any switches that are on, off when not in use. Basically, when you leave the room, turn everything off. How we save energy. Yes, I'm Miss Katie and uh, I work in the library. Are you aware that there is 81 lights used on a daily basis in the library? No, I wasn't. And did you just find that now? I did. And what are you going to do about it? Well, I'm certainly going to think about uh, making some changes. Start seeing what rooms are being used and turn some of your lights off. Yeah, that's a good start. Possibly look at um, when the lights need to be replaced, getting um, low energy. Yep, that would be excellent. Mm -hmm. well, I think, all right, that these young people have done an excellent job. They've done a fair bit of research into global warming and energy concerns around the world. Now we've been doing a project and as part of our project we've talked about alternative energy and energy sources and fossil fuels. So this project that the students have worked into have come in quite nice in terms of a dovetailing. The students have actually done their pre-work on alternative energy, solar energy, hydro energy. Then they've looked at what they can do in terms of energy calculations, their uses in their own homes. And we sort of found that there was a lot of problems. It was very, very wasteful, shall we say. So this project came along in terms of being a way of identifying our own responsibilities for energy, wastage and for water and other resources. And we've focused on those things and we've tried to come up with a few simple ideas that we can instil in our own families and in the school itself by putting a few signs around to save energy and to encourage people to take a little bit of responsibility. If we all take a small amount of responsibility, then I guess the impact will be large not unlike Earth Hour, how we um, can save so much by turning a light off for a simple hour. And that started in Australia, I think, and went worldwide.